Hello everyone, I am back. It's obviously been a while, just a little while. So since my last video, I graduated from ATT and today I am going to talk to you guys about how I made it through ATT and things that you should do. So, ATT was, um, it was very technical aka apprentice technical training it was very technical <laughs> so um, when you first get there for those of you guys who are going to ATT which would be IC's and ET's and FC's and GM's um, when you get there your instructor is going to give you like uh, resources to help you you know get through the school they are going to give you um, PowerPoints that's what my instructor he told us about apparently other instructors they don't tell you but there are PowerPoints there for those of you who are visual learners like I am and um, it has like animations and it really breaks things down for you and um, those to me were the most helpful and then, of course, there's um, the lessons that you actually have to go through online that, you know, teach you about electronics and stuff like that. Sometimes the material is dry and sometimes you won't be able to understand it. Um, and then that's, you know, why your instructors are there. You know, you ask for help. And then there's also open learning uh, when you basically you go to the school outside of um, your school hours. And the benefit of that is um, you get open learning hours so that in case anything happens, like you were to fail or something, it'll um, show that you actually put in effort and it's documented versus you just going through like NKO lessons on your computer because um, they can't see that. But also, uh, another benefit of going to uh, open learning is like there are other instructors there too, and they give you seminars and they'll sit down with you for a while and um, explain to you what um, subject matter you know you're going through before you have to go through a test or something. And um, also in open learning, they have the the switchboards um, there too. Um, where you you know you test the circuits and things that you need to do so say you don't finish it in class you know your labs you can go to open learning and do that there uh, when you're in ACT um, also you are given maybe three books through ATT use them um, those books also break down everything for you um, a lot of people they don't really use the books but I remember specifically when we got to this one topic called um, multi vibrators the lesson was so dry and I couldn't understand it as many times as I read it I could almost recite to you what the lesson said but I'm like, I don't know what this means I can't imagine it I just I don't know what this means like what is this what does this mean to me and um, like I said about the PowerPoints that um, we were provided on the computers um, that really helped because it was uh, it had animations where you could see like um, discharging and the charging of batteries and how the you know electrons move around and stuff like that you know, you, you'll get into it uh, if you're, you know, an ATT. And, um, like, I couldn't imagine what they were talking about. And it was all this movement going on. And it's saying, oh, yeah, it goes from R1 to this place and that place. And then this charges. And when this happens, this discharges. And you're like, what? Is, what? You know? And um, when I looked through the book, that uh, was given to us it really broke it down like the lesson was dry but I got it 
the book broke it down and then the PowerPoints um, gave me animation so I was able to do really good and um, also I briefly mentioned the NKO so there's this NKO website you get on there and there's an e-learning link you click on that and you type in um, whatever the topic you're on whatever topic or subject you're on into the, uh, the search bar and um, you look up the lesson and you go through the lesson. The lesson is the exact same as it is um, in the ATT, you know, ATT course. So the only thing is, like I said, um, when you get online and go on NKO, it's not documented like it is if you were to go to um, Open Learning. So that's the difference between getting on like, NKO and doing your work and you know like uh reading from home or i mean the barracks which is home because sometimes after a long day you know you're, you're like i want to go home and home is the barracks but anyway you um you learn a lot from uh, the the NKO online um, outside of class, but still, you know, you have to use all the resources given to you to break it down because everybody's not the same type of learner. Um, so basically, you're gonna spend a lot of your time uh, focusing on like getting those lessons done because. You have um, tests weekly, you know, at the end of every week, basically, and you have to be ready for it. And it's a lot that you have to have done in a week, you know, before you have to take these tests. And um, you'll be fine if you, um, you know, put forth the effort, you'll be fine. But I didn't know anything about anything. And I use all of those, um, all of those resources I was given. And also, your instructors are there to help you. They will not let you fail. You just have to simply raise your hand and ask for help. Ask for help. And that's um, from the very beginning. And even at A school, ask for help. They are not going to let you fail. <laughs> um, important that you do that um, and um, the lessons in um, a school um, they go from being a specific program in ATT to just um, having courses on the actual NKO so you know that's that's fine that's pretty cool there's still um, open learning in a school um, but now I'm a night student, so, yeah, that schedule's kind of, you know, even though I'm a night person, <sighs> it's a little, um, busy during the day, and then you have school all night, so, we're making it, <laughs> you can do it, I'm doing it, um, but yeah, what I said about ATT, use all the resources that you're given and make sure that you um, you have your priorities right. Like if you know you have to, you know, finish a bunch of lessons and, you know, it's the weekend or whatever and you have a duty-free weekend or whatever, you probably shouldn't go. <laughs> you probably shouldn't go out, you know. You should do your work. And also, one thing that I didn't mention about the NKOs were there are quizzes on the NKOs. And if you go through the quizzes like three times, even like not knowing anything, just go through it over and over and over again until um, you remember because you actually do learn. Um, where was I? <laughs>
<laughs> oh, okay. The, there are quizzes on NKO. And um, you go through them over and over again. And um, it helps you um, know what questions to expect on the test. So keep going over those. It's very helpful. And I really stress going over those quizzes on NKO because they'll help you figure out what's on the test. Um, yeah, school. I mean, you're getting paid to be a student. Do, you know, what you're supposed to do. Handle your responsibilities. Set your priorities straight and learn all you can. Because also, these um, classes that you go through and like the questions and the material, it's going to be the same material that you're going to have to take um, tests on when you do your advancement exams. So, like, pay attention and try to get all the help you need now, you know, while you can. So that's my spill for um, doing well in ATT and a little snippet of what, you know, to expect in a school. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.